Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, VLOOKUP, a little bit more advanced than the ones we've done in previous videos. Uh, let's say you're in a situation where you want to do a lookup on multiple lookup tables and you want the function to be able to choose which table uh, the appropriate uh, lookup table to pick for the particular cell you're looking up so what do I mean well let's let me just start by typing the VLOOKUP function I want to look up the code and I want to look it up either on table 1 or I also have a table 2 here with different amounts okay so as you notice I made these two digits so it'll be clear whereas these are the same number with the single digit you know what I mean okay so usually we would do a VLOOKUP on one table right you would lock that and you would I want the amount in this column right so I want column one two so I would type two as the third argument comma false because I want an exact match okay if this is new to you what I did here then you should definitely go to my channel and check out my VLOOKUP videos I have numerous videos on VLOOKUPs so be sure to check those out because this is a little bit more advanced what I'm gonna do here so as you see it appropriately found A and returned the amount next to A and if we drag this formula down it'll do that for B and for C right nothing new if you've done the VLOOKUP function you're saying what's the new item you're gonna discuss here well this is what we're gonna do we don't want to choose just from one table right we want the formula to be able to determine which table to choose based on another column so this column over here indicates which table the VLOOKUP function is to look at. This one indicates that we should look at table 1. This one indicates we should be looking at table 2. Okay, And I purposely put table 2 on another sheet just to show you you can have these tables anywhere. Okay, So let's do this. Let's delete what we wrote here and let's do a VLOOKUP we're going to look up the code same as before except this time instead of highlighting just table one we're going to do a choose function we're going to choose the table indicated by the table column the table number and then we're going to highlight table one first lock that comma table two lock that comma now we're back into the VLOOKUP function give me column 2 when you find the lookup value and give me an exact match and you see we get 6 same result as before but check out what happens when I drag this down I get 66 here even both even though both of these are A this one was supposed to be looked up on the second table this is table 1 so on the second table A should give us 66 and the choose function takes care of that okay so let's drag this down all the way and see what happens this is B is to be looked up on table 1 and that's why we get 7 A is to be looked up on table 2 and that's why we get 66 as we saw A is 66 here and C is to be looked up on table 2 and that's why we get 88 and finally B is to be looked up on table 1 that's why we get 7 okay now watch part 2 of this video because I'm gonna show you an even more fancy way to do the same thing using named ranges okay so till next time subscribe comment and have a great day